You might notice I look a little bit different today. My fringe. Um, still getting used to it. So I'm playing with it a lot and um, making it look a bit of a mess and then getting it where I like it again and figuring it out. I have been dealing with a lot of big changes recently and it's pretty well known that people with autism struggle a bit with changes. Uh, so you might be wondering why I've got a fringe because that's another big change, right? Um, so let me talk a bit about the changes. Um, I realised I had to leave care. I don't know how well you can see. My eyebrows kept falling out and they grow back in couple of months later fall out again um, and this last time they just haven't really come back properly which is a shame um, so that's been something in my appearance that I've been having to get used to um, yeah so I left the job that was causing that amount of stress I left care which sucked because I really loved working in care but I just can't at the moment at least which sucks I had hoped I had a part-time admin job lined up and that fell through which was frustrating um, so I've taken a month off I've been writing as much as I can in the time when my little one's at nursery because I wanted to make good use of the time so I nearly burnt myself out trying to make the most of my relaxing time um, possibly a mistake and then next school term starts next week so I'm going to have to sit back from writing which I'm loving doing and I would love to make my career along with teaching circus um, yeah so next next week I'm going to start looking for new work which is an exhausting thought um, I've been teaching more circus um, we've got loads of kids classes going it's going it feels like it's going really well I'm enjoying it a lot but it's another change it's another mental step it's a complete shift in my routine that I'd become used to um, and adapting to that has been hard um, and then the routine shifts again from next week when we go into the school term and that's gonna be hard and I know it is um, so I find when I get overwhelmed by changes that are big, I was going to say beyond my control because I was the one who chose to give my notice but then I gave my notice on the advice of my mental health support team lady because of how badly it was impacting me. So it was my choice but it was a choice that in some ways was made for me because of the conditions I was under. So yeah, maybe maybe change that is beyond your control. I find really hard. Change that you don't have time to build up towards is really hard for me. And when I go through a period of that, and even change that I do have time to build up for, I do a change that I am fully in control of, such as this fringe. I've dyed my hair fluorescent orange in the past. I've cut it from knee length to waist length or even bra strap length which was a very very weird experience for me um everyone talks about how long hair is when it's there and to me it feels so short um yeah i, I like putting colored streaks in my hair stuff like that but this time i thought i'll have a fringe i haven't had a fringe since i was i don't even know how old it middle school maybe even younger than that uh, less than eight I think so it's probably over 30 years since I had a fringe the weirdest part about having a fringe isn't actually the fringe it's that my hair isn't the color I think it is this is what color my hair is it's kind of brown right this up here this is my fringe that that's the colour I think my hair is. It was really yellow blonde when I was a kid and I think it still is and of course it's not anymore. <laughs> there you go. So that's actually been the weirdest part about having a fringe. I think I like it. I don't know if I'll bother to maintain it. I might let it grow back out again but I think I like it. I've hooked it on my shrine here 
my little nature shrine, bug hotel, whatever, as a kind of sacrifice through the changes I'm going through and dealing with and the transitions and all that. So that felt important to me in a way I can't really describe. And it was also when I cut my fringe, it was one of these, I talked about doing it a bit um, as I was coming to the end of, of my time in care and the first sort of bit of time out of it. And then last Saturday, I just turned around and I went, I'm going to do it now because if I don't do it now, I'm never going to do it. And that now or never feeling is one, I think it's probably very human, but it's definitely one I feel very strongly and I don't know if it's tied in with the executive functioning, <laughs> executive dis dysfunctioning issues I have. So, yeah, I have a fringe now. It's not the best, I did it myself, but it's kind of fun. And it's a change I was in control of, which is important to me. Um, it helps me feel like I can be in control of more things in my life and it's a healthier way of doing that than some of the behaviours I've had in the past so yeah fringe all right see you later bye